I think he's got a point. You know, Pascal Sorio, the chief executive of AstraZeneca, it, it reminds me very much of a, a line in a book, my favourite author, C.P. Snow, when he says, if the Archbishop of Canterbury says he believes in God, well, that's all in the way of business. But if he says God doesn't exist, you'd better believe it's true. And it's the sort of thing here. Here's a company, one of the large world pharma companies that stands to make millions. They have made millions. Uh, and Pfizer and Moderna, billions of dollars, billions of pounds out of the vaccine. So he has got a point. And I think his point that he made was that it's probably a waste of taxpayers' money in all countries to immunise all comers, N not everybody. Select people that are more vulnerable, that are more likely, if they do get COVID, to have serious illness and need to go into hospital. That's where it should be targeted. And that's what he's calling for. And I would agree with that. There's no point in immunising everybody in the community, children. I mean, the use of ventilators has gone right down with COVID over the last six months. So uh, we don't need it. And there are risks, and the risks are not often stated fully. Do you, do you think, in your view, that the country has actually built up enough immunity now so we've all got our own sort of base level of foundation, which should hopefully preserve, prevent the majority of people who are otherwise fit and healthy from uh, getting serious side effects, uh, after effects of COVID? That's exactly the case, Nana, that, that we've built up that immunity. Uh, OK, the booster will give you a bit more, uh, but it's probably not worth doing it for everybody. And uh, the costs are huge, and not just the costs of what's in the bottle. That's relatively cheap. The organisational costs of immunising a whole population. If you take the over 70s, you know, and I'm in that group now, uh, you know, maybe that's more worthwhile. If you take over 70s that have got chest illnesses such as chronic bronchitis and so on, that, people on chemotherapy for cancer, which is my specialism, these sort of things targeted to them, then it would be a lot cheaper to do and a lot more worthwhile. 